Let's say you're about one and a half meters or maybe two meters tall. Pretty normal, right? But have you ever wondered how you compare to some of the biggest and smallest things in the universe? A refrigerator is about one and a half meters long, which is almost the same as your height. But let's go a little bigger. A car is around four meters long. That's like stacking two or three of you head to toe. And if you've ever seen a bus, those are 12 meters long. Now, think of a lion. A fully grown male lion is about two and a half meters long, meaning it's longer than you and you should run when you see one. Next, we have the giraffe. These giants can grow up to six meters tall, about three or four times your height. And speaking of massive animals, meet the elephant. An African elephant can be seven meters long and four meters tall. Now, let's go way back in time. Dinosaurs. The Tyrannosaurus rex, one of the most fearsome creatures ever, was about 12 meters long, the size of a bus. And if that's not big enough, the Argentinosaurus, the biggest dinosaur we know, was a mind-blowing 35 meters long, about the size of a basketball court. And now, we reach one of the biggest living animals today, the blue whale. These gentle giants can grow up to 30 meters long, nearly the same as the Argentinosaurus. That's like stacking 15 of you in a row. But even the whale is nothing compared to what's next. A football field is about 100 meters long. Imagine stacking over three blue whales from end to end just to match that distance. But even that is tiny compared to the Eiffel Tower. It's about 300 meters tall, which is like three football fields stacked together. And now, let's go even bigger. Ever seen a skyscraper? The Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world, is 828 meters tall. That's like stacking more than 400 of you. And guess what? Mount Everest, the tallest mountain on Earth, stands at a mind-blowing 8,849 meters. That's more than 10 Burj Khalifas stacked together. But wait, what about the Earth itself? Our entire planet is about 12,700 kilometers across. That's over 700 Mount Everests side by side. Now, let's leave Earth. The Moon, our closest neighbor in space, is about 384,000 kilometers away. Yeah, it is smaller than Earth, but to make things crazy, we will understand how far that is. Imagine driving a car at a typical highway speed of around 100 kilometers per hour without stopping. If you kept driving at this speed non-stop, day and night, it would take you more than five months to reach the moon. But the moon is nothing compared to the sun. The sun is so massive that you could fit one million Earths inside it. Its diameter? 1,390,000 kilometers. If the sun were a giant balloon, Earth would be a tiny marble next to it. But let's go even crazier. The largest star we know, Stevenson 2-18, is so big that if it replaced our sun, it would swallow Saturn. It's about 3 billion kilometers in diameter. If you traveled around it at an airplane speed, it would take you over 1,200 years just to complete one lap. Now even this star is nothing compared to our galaxy. Our Milky Way galaxy is about 100,000 light years across. Wait, what's a light year? It's the distance light travels in one year. Since light is the fastest thing in the universe, moving at 300,000 kilometers per second, one light year is about nine and a half trillion kilometers. It isn't over yet. Our galaxy is just one of two trillion galaxies in the universe. And finally, what about our entire observable universe? Which means the universe we can observe. It's about 93 billion light years across. That's so big that even if you traveled at light speed, 
it would take you 93 billion years to cross it. Good luck with that. All right, that was huge. But what about the smallest things? It's time to zoom in. A dog, like a Labrador or a German Shepherd, is usually around one meter long. That means it's smaller than you, but bigger than a toddler. A rat, on the other hand, is much smaller, about 20 centimeters long. That's about the size of your foot. Now, let's shrink even more. A smartphone is around 15 centimeters tall, which is smaller than a rat, but something you hold every day. And now, we go even tinier, a grain of sand. This little thing is only about half a millimeter across, meaning you could fit thousands of them just in the palm of your hand. That's tiny, but what about a red blood cell? They are 5,000 times smaller. And then what about the molecules making up that cell? A million times smaller than that. And we're not even close to the smallest scale. Atoms, the building blocks of everything, are so small that you could fit one million of them in the width of a single human hair. And even atoms aren't the smallest things out there. Inside every atom, there are even tinier building blocks, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons sit tightly packed in the center of the atom, forming the nucleus, while electrons move around them in a sort of cloud. But here's where things get even crazier. Protons and neutrons themselves aren't solid particles. They are made up of even smaller things called quarks. Quarks are so unbelievably tiny that they are about 100,000 times smaller than a proton. If a proton were the size of a football, a quark would be as small as a grain of sand next to it. They are so small that we can't see them even with the most powerful microscopes. We only know they exist because of advanced experiments in physics. And even quarks aren't the absolute smallest things in the universe. At least, not according to some scientists. There's a theory called string theory, which suggests that everything, including quarks, protons, and even forces like gravity, is made up of unimaginably tiny loops of energy called strings. How small are these strings? If an atom were the size of the entire solar system, a single string would be the size of a tree. Whenever life feels overwhelming, just remember, just like the universe, you are limitless.